Are you tired of the same old advice for lead generation for developers? Oh, put yourself out there and write a good resume and develop your career. We're not going to cover any of that. What we're going to talk about is what actually works to build your career as a freelancer properly and then build a business afterwards. We're going to talk about how to get the exact types of leads that you need. So basically, if you're looking for the right types of leads who have budget and don't waste your time, in this video, I'll reveal proven lead generation strategies that are unconventional and set you apart from the competition. We'll focus on Upwork, Fiverr, LinkedIn, and other, other less traditional methods to supercharge your client acquisition efforts. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated on all future content. So let's start with Upwork. I don't use Upwork the same way that most people use it. Most freelancers in Upwork focus solely on sending proposals. To stand out, you need to do things differently, which means more than just copy pasting stuff into ChatGPT and asking it to write anything and everything for you. The first thing you should do to set yourself apart in this automation world that we live in now is video proposals. Create personalized video proposals instead of plain text ones. This shows genuine interests, sets you apart, and helps you build trust with clients. Still, you should write in short why they should watch the video. And for example, you can write the following text above the video link in the proposal. Hey John, I've made a video to shortly showcase how to achieve insert goal that he has with insert what he wants to do from his job post. Click below and watch the personal video I made for you just now. And then the video should be all about their needs, their company, what they want, and how you can get it for them. And then it should invite them to do a call. The solution basically in the video is to get on a call with you and figure out the exact steps if you want to work together. Another thing about Upwork is you need to offer value right from the start. Most people beg for jobs. And what you should do is share insightful tips, recommendations, or quick analyses of the client's problems in your proposal, making them see the value of hiring you and working with you and your business. Another thing to focus on, which basically no one does, is building long-term relationships. After completing a project, focus on maintaining communication with the client, get proof from previous clients to show future clients what you've done, this is non-negotiable, and then offer relevant updates, industry news, or share any lessons learned that could benefit their business. Everything you tell them needs to be specific to them. This positions you as a helpful resource and keeps you in their mind for future projects. It helps if you only work with specific types of clients, of course. Overall, long-term relationships mean recurring revenue, not just struggling to get new clients forever, but keep the ones you have. As for Fiverr, on Fiverr, it's easy to get lost among the competition. Try these tactics to generate more leads. Add SEO optimization to your Fiverr titles. These need to be keywords that you wanna rank for on Fiverr, not on Google. Basically, the title helps you rank your profile to show it to the right people on Fiverr. The next thing you need to do is add add-ons and bundles. Create add-ons and bundles to offer multiple services to entice clients seeking comprehensive AI solutions. But they still need to be kind of part of the same thing you're doing, of course. It shouldn't be like, oh, let's do marketing and then also do dev stuff. That doesn't make any sense. It should just be dev stuff, of course. Ultimately, you'll reach more people so that you can get them on a consultation call, which is the main thing you should be selling, so that you can sell them on expensive services, which is done on a call. It's not done via chat or in a profile or on gig profiles or whatever. Unlike what people think, Fiverr isn't as much for selling cheap stuff as it used to be or as it seems now. The next platform we're gonna use is a more complicated one. It's called LinkedIn. Everyone will tell you to just post valuable content and build relationships. What does that even mean? Sure, it helps if you do those things theoretically, but what you need to do is use LinkedIn to generate leads so you can close hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales. Not add pretty paragraphs on your profile and compliment everyone on their, in your feed. What you need is money on your bank account. That's what LinkedIn is for. It's not for complimenting people and building relationships by complimenting people and sharing articles. No one gives a crap about your articles. The first step is to find exactly which companies you want to do business with on LinkedIn. Then, who is your ideal client based on the ones you've got on, on easier platforms like Upwork and Fiverr? Then, use Sales Navigator to target decision makers 
and those companies, then you can use Rocket Reach, which is a service, to find your email and send them a friendly email with direct feedback on what they could improve based on what you know those types of companies are working on and want to achieve and how you can do this for them or how they can do it themselves, okay? So then you offer to do a no hassle call to give them more feedback. This should work quite well compared to the regular spam they get, which offers zero value because you're only offering value and a free no hassle call. That's really what you're doing. You're not pitching them in any way. When done thoughtfully, cold outreach can help you land high value clients, research the organization, understand their needs and craft a personalized pitch, highlighting your AI expertise as a as a solution to their unique problems. Outside of these bigger platforms, there are lesser known platforms and strategies you can use. Consider tapping into less common lead generation sources and methods like AI focused job boards. So basically search for a niche job board specifically targeted towards AI, data science, and machine learning. These platforms help you find projects and clients interested in your unique skill set. Then also you can guest blog and do webinars or join webinars where you present, basically collaborate with industry focused blogs and offer to write guest posts or host webinars. This exposes your expertise to a broader audience and helps you gain credibility. And more importantly, it exposes you to the right type of audience, not just like everyone, but the types of people who are you know, they own SaaS companies, they invest in startups, they have, you know, 15 startups in their portfolio who need these, these types of things. Basically, you want to attract potential clients who are ready to invest in your AI solutions by joining, you know, existing publications, be it voice or text that already have those types of audience, um, you know, on reading and watching them and or listening. Another thing you can do is leveraging podcasts. So basically either by starting your own podcast or appearing as a guest on popular AI related podcasts. It's kind of the same process as before. You can reach the, the right people and share your expertise inside of knowledge on AI topics. If you actually know your stuff on AI, there's a huge demand right now for anyone who knows anything legit and has proof. Basically, clients seeking niche AI freelancers will be attracted to your expertise in the field if they hear you talking on a podcast as an authority in the field. Plus, you could use this proof forever. Then you can generate leads for your AI freelance business. So basically, by using the easier funnels that I mentioned on this call and then switching to more complex funnels as you get more experience, it becomes much easier to attract potential clients and build a successful AI freelancing career or an agency. Now, let's go to the next video in the description for a more detailed guide with an example or multiple examples on how to do everything that I just talked about. If you found these strategies helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and drop us a comment about your experiences or any strategies we didn't mention. Subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to stay updated on all our future content. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.